let's learn about atomic packing okay so one way to understand how your atoms or molecules are arranged is to look at a unit cell okay understand it in terms of a unit cell another way is to see how the atoms are arranged okay how they are packed together just realize we have earlier made an assumption that atoms can be assumed to be solid spheres okay so basically we are trying to see how spheres are arranged to form crystals okay there are basically two types of arrangement of spheres that you can possibly have okay one is like this let's suppose you have spheres which are like this and on the next row you have the sphere which is directly underneath the first sphere okay so this is one type of arrangement another type of arrangement would be to have the first row like this okay and in the second row instead of having the sphere directly below this you have a sphere over here okay so the next sphere is over here next is over here and like this okay so this type of packing is considered to be better because as you can see these are your voids okay these are empty spaces every element is going to try to fit maximum number of atoms in a limited amount of space okay it's going to ensure that packing is as compact as possible over here the voids are relatively larger as compared to over here look over here the void is like this okay over here the void is like this okay so this void is bigger as compared to this one therefore there is more empty space present or more vacant space present in this type of packing as compared to this type of packing so in nature most of the elements they are going to arrange themselves in this type of packing and this type of packing is known as closest packing or closed packing okay so we are going to now analyze closed packing okay so over here i have some spheres which are packed together in closed packing okay closest or closed packing so my voids are either like this or they are like this okay as you can see over here this is a void which is like this and this is a void which is like this now this is one layer of spheres okay you can just extend it everywhere it would be something like this right over here a triangular shape is shown but it is extending in all directions okay so this is one layer now i can build up another layer over this okay what i can do is i can put a sphere over here so i can put a sphere another sphere over here or what i can do is i can put a sphere over here just realize since both of these two voids are so close together you can either put a sphere over here or you can put a sphere over here okay so you can either get a structure which is going to be like this okay once you've put a sphere over here then you cannot put another sphere in this void or in this void or in this void okay next sphere would be coming over here okay similarly if you put a sphere on the other void which is on this void then you cannot put another sphere in this void okay another sphere would come on this void so let's just say that i have put my next layer okay we are stacking one layer over another so i am assuming i have put my next sphere in this void okay so i am going to get a structure like this so this gray spheres are my a layer okay the bottom most layer this red spheres are the next higher layer okay these spheres